Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam and welcome back to another FPV flight tutorial. You know, one of the most important things about not crashing into stuff is not crashing into stuff. So this video is going to be dedicated to obstacle avoidance. So if we jump in to lift off here, which, we, which we've been using for all of our flight tutorials in this series, and we uh, and here's the flight controller settings just for your reference. These are the rates that I'm using. We talked about rates earlier, um, and I'm using the Ladrib Skyliner uh, quadcopter stock as they have it. In case you want to replicate this, so the thing about obstacle avoidance is it's going to be a combination of pretty much stuff that we've already learned. But I think it's good to uh, focus in on that because you will need to avoid obstacles a lot, uh, especially if you're flying in a small area or you're flying around trees or whatever. So let's get started here. Again, we have uh, about 15 degrees of up tilt. So just very minimal up tilt since we're just getting started in this. And let's say we're in acro mode and let's say we, um, first of all, you know, we talked about turning and we talked about, we talked about turning, coordinated turning. So using your uh, both sticks, um, to do like a smooth turning motion. So almost like we're leaning and moving forward instead of like a, a jerky trying to stop and then turn and then go forward. And so it's kind of more of a smooth motion. And then we talked about um, uh, starting and stopping. So we talked about like if we're moving forward and then we're like, oh, I don't wanna move forward anymore. And so we pull back on the stick a bit and then we kind of, you know, um, kind of even it out and then get our forward momentum to stop. But we have to kind of pitch forward a little bit. Otherwise, we'll start going backwards. So we're going to kind of use a combination of those, but a little bit more aggressively. So the two biggest things uh, that we're going to cover are stopping from hitting an object and going around an object. So first, let's talk about not hitting the object like stopping our quadcopter so in order to stop like we talked about we want to pitch backwards and we need to give it throttle as well whoa see i almost hit that hay bale because i was going backwards so you don't really want to travel backwards but you want to briefly pitch back and give it throttle and then correct and then correct so you want to um you want to pitch forward pitch backwards give it throttle and again, you just got to like, it's just practice because your quadcopter might behave differently from this quadcopter um, in terms of how much throttle you need to give your quadcopter. So if we come up to this thing and we pitch backwards and give it a little bit of throttle, it's almost like we're going, whoa, hey, I don't want to hit that thing. And so just practice that. Um, I hope what I'm saying is making sense, but honestly, it's a little hard to explain, but I think, I think you'll get it. Okay, now let's talk about going around the object. And this is basically just turning, but the point that I want to make here is that this is a great reason to practice our coordinated turns because um, I feel like, at least for me, the tendency, like when I was first getting started flying, the tendency is to just roll or, or just maybe even yaw because you're trying to like, you're kind of trying to do one motion at a time um and and not in, in as opposed to doing the coordinated turning so for example let's say we're going towards this hay bale if i just rolled like that would work but then i'm at this weird angle and i'm like really likely to crash into something else but if if i'm going towards this hay bale and i do like a pitch and roll i'm still like i still need to correct from it but it's it's going to be uh, much more natural to kind of just steer around it. That's what I'm trying to say is to steer around it. Use your, your, your left and right stick, your roll and your yaw to steer around it and try to do it in a coordinated way. Cause if you use one or the other, it might kind of work, but then it'll set yourself up to crash. You, then you'll set yourself up to crash in just another way. And another thing you might need to practice is kind of flying over an object as well. So you're flying towards this hay bale and you give it a little extra, oh, that's quite a big, big extra boost, but a little bit of extra uh, throttle because it's like, oh man, I got to avoid that thing. And I'm kind of popping way up, but that's kind of how the physics are in this game. So just a little bit of extra throttle. So remember, when you're trying to avoid an obstacle, it's usually best to just basically steer out of the way coordinated turns or possibly uh, aggressively 
arrest your forward motion to avoid hitting the obstacle. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your time. If you like this kind of thing, leave me a comment and let me know. And if you have questions about this or other flight stuff, let me know, and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon on the next flight tutorial video.